Okay, good. So this is good because I I, I found what I did was I, I I mistakenly used this right here. So as you can see, coffee cup cost. Okay, um, it should be number of coffee cups sold is what I I I use here, right? So this variable should be this variable right here, number of coffee cups sold in here, and I did the number of coffee cup costs. I did both place here, so I'm just going to replace that right there. Uh, make sure everything's okay. Hit run again. So it's not going to appear anything, but look, this is what I should have is this. If I have an up data, this up data should match exactly what you had on the other screen for the set. So this is very important. This is what I want to show is that once you have this, this has to match exactly what that output and on, on in, in your program exercise with this stuff with it. This is the part that I want to share with you is this. Now, in case, because I did this already and I, you don't see this, but if you went through here, make sure that you have all the check marks that you have, all right, run checks. And if you did what you're supposed to do, you should have 100%. should have 100%, right? So it has all these check marks that's been coming across here. But, but, let's say, let's say, you didn't do your variable declaration right and all this stuff, but one of the hardest things when I did this and I found out was I accidentally went in and I didn't make it look exactly like the output that it asked me to. Let's say I did department and I actually put an S after it, departments with an S, which is wrong. This is wrong with it. And I, if I run my check right now with it, it checks it. And if you notice, I had 100% before. But if you left out a syntax that you actually run it, well, duh. It's supposed to give you 80%. That's why I meant to say with it, but it doesn't work exactly how I want. But if you actually didn't have the right space or a misspell word or some sort of syntax that's wrong with it, you're not going to get 100%. It has to look exactly like what they give you in the book in this output with it as well. So make sure make sure you have exactly what it is looking for with it because this output, if you don't have it exactly what it's looking for, you're not going to get 100% of this. So this is the output I'm talking about, this output right here. Make sure you have everything looking like this. Okay, so it's very tedious. You have to go in back and forth and just make sure you have the best thing is I have, you know, get somebody else to look at it at the same time. That's what I would recommend. So uh, that wraps it up for this problem. I'm going to upload all this to uh, a video link. There's about four or five segments, five, six segments on this thing. So thank you.